Look at this, I'm in the middle of shopping disorder. Never happened before where they added one in the middle of me shopping. We will have all apps on. I'm gonna show you every single order that comes on Instacart, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. Obviously, we're not taking that. Let's see what DoorDash has to offer us today. We're starting a little early today because we have some things to do later on in the afternoon, so we're gonna set our dash till 2.30. And I'm even gonna be generous and turn Uber Eats on, even though I don't see much. Let's start today. 8.33. 13% acceptance rate on Uber Eats. Oh, Chick-fil-A is coming in, let's take a look. First order on DoorDash, eight bucks, 8.8 miles. A lot of highway there. We're not taking that. We're gonna decline it. Oh, almost accepted it. I think it's gonna take us down to 67. And we are diamond cart on DoorDash, or Instacart. Second order, 555.3. I'm actually gonna take this, not mar not far there. It's less than an eight for eight, but I didn't like where the, the last one left me. I don't mind this one here. I don't wanna keep declining, especially at this time of day when the offers are, are gonna be slim pickings. I'll accept this. Let's hit the road. Well, there's Uber Eats, but going in a completely different direction. Can't take that. Welcome to my office. Another order coming in on Uber Eats. I still have that on. $7.95 for three. That's a lot better than a five. Hold on. Do I have to go by that place? Mm, I actually probably should have taken that, but I let the time run out. Let's go pick up this stupid $5 order on Chick-fil-A. Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. So I gave myself a goal of 100 bucks, and I was like, yeah, I'm not usually out in the mornings, but I want to make a quick hundo before I got my errands to run. Have a great day. Thanks, Ashley. $3 tip. Like them, like Next order coming in a screenshot. 350 for four point something miles, Panera. I was driving towards this Panera. That is, it could be a dollar fifty tip. It's also trash. Kobe, that person's either miserable or the company's miserable. I'm not. I, no, I know I'm. I'm not usually out at this time of the day. I know we're gonna see some trash today. People waking up. I want a. I want a coffee, a bagel with some cream cheese. I want this, but I ain't gonna tip my driver because I suck. Oh, another order coming in. Starbucks. This person wants some coffee. 4.7, 4.75, 1 1.8. And they actually tipped. I'm sure there's a tip on here. Listen, it, listen. Let me let me not get too crazy today. We're gonna take it because on face value, that's way better than the last one we just declined. And the Starbucks is right here. Let's go pick it up for this reasonable human being. And those that know me know I'm not a Starbucks fan at all not even like one percent there's nothing about this company or coffee that i enjoy look at that clown they look handicapped to you that person look handicapped fucking clown thank you yeah. all right order was ready we just grabbed this order right here i had a, the text notification came through on instacart 62 bucks i hit it immediately accepted it it's 10 miles i think it's 50 items target 62 dollars at nine o'clock Oh yeah, we doing that. There's only one order, I saw that as well. I mean, 62 bucks, we're gonna do, we should be able to do this in an hour. It's actually two. I gotta go to Aldi for 34 items, easy. And then there's six or seven items out of Target. It's not my local Aldi, it's about five miles away. So we're gonna call it 15 miles for 62 bucks. Still a win. Like somebody added an item or something. Batch items no modified. <laughs> All good with me. So Megan added those eggs right there. Super easy. Done. Five minutes. All right, so I just looked at this Aldi. Every item is an Aldi find. It's all Christmas stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping to have it. If not, I'm not going to make $62. So let's go on to Aldi and cross our fingers. They got a lot of Aldi stuff, all kinds of pajamas and socks and decorations. And if they're out of stuff, this batch is not going to pay us anywhere close to 60 bucks. Well, I was right. Missing all these items. Look at all this. One, two, three, four, three counts. I don't know, 20 items that they're missing. So 
that's all they're going to get, this is not going to pay us $62. Fuck. That sucked. That fucking sucked. That is the downside of shopping on Instacart. They didn't have most of that woman's order. Unless she tipped a whole dot, like, 40 bucks or the tip on here is $50.08. So I'm assuming she tipped off a percentage. I'm going to get paid significantly less unless she tipped like a flat amount. <sighs> the downfalls of Instacart, you accept the batch. It has a really good pay on it. And if they don't have items, you're probably going to make less money, but you did, you did pretty much, the, you did the equal amount of work and spent the same amount of time and drove the same motherfucking miles. And the order that might, the smaller order that who knows how much is paying is the one that's further away, of course. So this order could, in theory, be like a three or four dollar order, all batch pay from Instacart. And I'm driving, I don't even want to, you know what? <laughs> oh, this gig works sometimes. The roller coaster, we're on it right now. The high of seeing a $62 batch, and then the low of thinking it might only pay you 20 or 30 bucks. All right, we just dropped that off. Let's cross our fingers. I don't know what this pay is gonna be, and that sucks. That sucks. So let's see what it's gonna be. It's 10, so we've been out for an hour and 50 minutes since we accepted our first order. And um, it's not looking good. Let me see what this earnings are gonna be here. Okay, it's not horrible. We still got 38.83. So we lost 20, we lost $25. We lost 25 bucks. Um, we lost 25 bucks. I guess we've made 50 in under two hours at this time. It's not horrible, but we were trying to, we thought we we're going to have a really, really great morning to start the day. So if you look at it here, the, um, so the tip was a $49 and eight cent tip and it went down to 25, oh, 2572. And as expected, the target run where I drove most of the miles, had everything, drove most of the miles, took me in the middle of where I don't want to be, tipped one dollar. So the batch earnings was twelve eleven. So yeah, that second order was trash, or the first one. The target order was complete garbage. Um, I don't love that. I don't. I don't love it. It's not horrible for the amount of time. It, but I wanted every. I want. I wanted sixty two. I did not want, and I did not sign up for thirty eight. So clearly this video is taking a turn that I didn't expect, but it is what it is. Y'all see my experience. We're in the downtown zone. I have DoorDash on, I have Uber on. Let's continue and see what we can make. I lost 25 bucks on that run. The brighter side, look at that beautiful Fox Theater. If you're from St. Louis, you know about it. If you don't know, this is a theater. They do um, all kinds of plays and things. I actually was in a play at the Vindicate, which is actually attached to the Fox Theater. They, all kinds of cool stuff happens here legendary theater or the Kranzberg. I don't know why I said Vindicate. It's the Kranzberg. I think it's actually the Vindicate might be in there as well. I did a little play there a long time ago. So still waiting on something else from Uber. It's just not going off at all. I don't see Uber stuff at all. So I'm at 67% AR. Uh, I fell below 70 yesterday, uh, 325. So weird. yesterday I started the day at 72 or 73. I accepted all kinds of orders. I'm, I'm obviously not taking that. It's fucking trash. I accepted all kinds of runs, and it, the AR didn't do anything. And then I declined a few, and it went down. It is what it is. Um, I'm below 70, so I expect to see some trash. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, man, oh, I hate. I hate when I feel like this when I do gig work. I just don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I don't. I don't like missing 25 bucks. I don't like seeing $3 orders. I don't like it at all. I didn't decline it at 325. Like I let the time run out, which you should always decline it. Don't let the time run out. And it came back to me. All right. Uh, here's a, here's another order. I'll take this one. I'm at, I'm actually at the Aldi parking lot. You can see, see the blue icon. Uh, it's 12 bucks, uh, two miles, um, 18 items. I don't mind that at all. Um, I'll definitely do that, but uh, yeah. So the way my brain works, y'all let me know. You, I had that like, ooh, I'm going to be at 75 bucks for two hours. I got to make up that 25. 
So at this point, how do we make up that 25 bucks? That's where my mind's at. Well, that's not iceberg, that's cabbage, but we'll get iceberg because that's not iceberg. But it says iceberg. Let me just text them and find out what they really want because that's iceberg, but what's pictured is cabbage. Look at this, I'm in the middle of shopping disorder. Never happened before where they added one in the middle of me shopping. 925, 2.7, so it's going over there. Only 11 items. Man, they're desperate, aren't they? Super desperate. Look, I can't even, I either, I either have to decline it or accept it before I can even finish shopping. We only need three more things of broccoli. Um, let me see, would you, would you guys take that? Let me zoom in and look at this house icon. Hold on, let me see where it's really going. All right, I took it. So then they just updated. See how it says to shop 11, done 13. So they just added customer A, customer B. This is just like Instacart. DoorDash is. <laughs> so customer A is this one here. So we're gonna grab those three broccolis, like I said, and we'll do the other 11 items or whatever. Pretty easy, I don't mind it. I'm already here. So check out what it looks like when you scan an item that you need. So let me put this here, scan it for you guys real quick. Let me see if I can't scan that. And then boom, B. <laughs> Just like Instacart. All right, make sure they're separated, duh. All right, the top area there is the second order. It's an easy nine bucks. Second order, package, 12.54. Oh, it was like 16 miles or something like that. Yeah, we're not doing that on Uber. Uber, man, you're trash, bro, trash. All right, let's drop off these two deliveries, paying us, what, 12 plus the nine? Not bad for like four miles. DoorDash, DoorDash getting desperate. Look, I'm at <coughs> the drop off for this first customer, right? And then they're adding on another one, 325. Um, pops, no, no, I'm not doing 325, three stops, 0. 0.9. Decline, not doing that. I'm not doing that, guys. I'm not delivering to a trash individual. All right, just pay out on that first one, 12 bucks, $5 tip, $7 base pay. All right, this Uber Eats just came out. I still have Uber Eats on. I think this is the third offer I've shown you. $2 and I think 36 cents for some sushi. Going two miles. Hmm. That's a really good order. All right, we're at 70 bucks in just under three hours. We should be close to 100, but it is what it is. I'll stop crying about it eventually. Still gotta make up that 25 bucks though. All right, next order, 450. Um, I don't love it, but it's only a mile. Here's one. Holy, look at this. $11 for 20 Two miles going to St. Anne, Missouri. I I got no words. There's a thousand Chinese joints from that place to that place, from that customer to that. Why is it? Why did it go to that one? You know what? You know what, guys? This <laughs> Uber is trash. So y'all tell me, how is that person gonna get an order that is 22 miles away? How is that person gonna get that Chinese food? How, how is that even, how, just how, how, how? All right, I don't love doing $4 runs, but it is what it is. It's not really going off that much. I've shown you guys everything that's hit my phone on all the apps, except Instagram. There's been some orders I've hidden and haven't even touched because they're just whatever. But you've seen everything on Uber, everything on DoorDash. This person lives super close to that subway, so I'll do a $4 run for a mile, it's fine. I don't love it, but those tend to add up especially i mean this from when i accepted it to when i dropped it off is like less than five minutes so i mean that's pretty good for that amount of time all right there's payout all right order coming in we'll screenshot it 1079 it's two orders five miles 1079 uh noodles and company which is actually here we're in a parking lot chipotle which is down the street 1079, both the customers live very close. You're basically going down chip wall, making a couple turns. I'll do 1079 for five. It's, I mean, middle of lunch, but things not going off that much. And what I've seen, I mean, it, it is what it is. I, it, it is what it is. It's one of them days. It's one of them days. We should be already pretty much, we, we should have had a really, like a solid day with that 62 because it went down 25 bucks. And these, these DoorDash orders, man, they're just, you know, they're four, five, six dollaring me to death, basically. 
we're here. We arrived at the store. Look, we just did that in real time. Look, arrived at the store. We were here already. Like, we were in this area because there's a lot here. We're picking up for a Cory, um, and we're going to pick up a Chipotle, which is right down on Hampton. Um, yeah. one. You know what? These are just... These are subpar orders, man. I got to get on a large order program. I, I, I can't continue to do these small ass orders. So what do y'all think? You've seen everything I've taken today, everything I've seen, everything I've done. What is this? Is this, is this about right for your market? The amount of money, the mileage, the mileage isn't bad. That the $32 order or whatever it was that we did, $38. Um, there, was, there was more miles on there than I would have liked, but let me know in the comments what you think about our day so far. We started a little earlier than normal, but we're on our way to a quick 100. Oh, there's another one, 443, 2.9. Not horrible, not horrible. It's about what I'm, you know, it's it's <laughs> just slightly worse than these DoorDash orders. How you hey, doing today? How's it going, brother? Thank you, man. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. Have a good one, man. Have a good Be lunch. Safe. You too. Thank you. All right, next order coming in. I know we're about 10 bucks away from 100. Uh, 750 to, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. 752.9, the Vine. So, yeah. We'll definitely do that. It's right up the street. Yeah, all right. Well, we've been here a few times, haven't we, guys? If you know, you know. I'm, I'm actually a little excited now. My day's almost over. I wanted to make a hundred bucks before I had a few things to do. And we're almost there. Almost done. Right when we can see the finish line. Guys said it's gonna be about seven minutes. I'll wait. It is what it is. I'll sit here and finish putting together this video. It took forever. It's $84 worth of food. Uh, you know what? <laughs> this dude probably tipped like $4. Jesus Christ. That would put us over a hundred, but yeah, we're not delivering somebody their lobster, shrimp, or whatever for $3.51 for 7.8 miles. Kobe. All right, this order came in. I looked at it. I said, I don't love it, but I want to be done for the day. I want to hit my goal. This puts me over my goal. It doesn't, it leaves me close to where I need to be. Let's do this Burger King for $4. I am not happy with myself and proud of myself necessarily. But we did hit our goal, so I like that. But I I took too many small orders today. And we also lost the 25. I'm still a little salty about that. But you live and you learn. That's part of Instacart. I showed y'all everything today. You saw every order. What I took, what I declined, the good, the bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this ride along. Um, At the end of the day, we still should be satisfied if we hit our goal. And we did it in the time that we wanted. It took me a little longer than I wanted to. But I'm okay with that. It's going to take me about 30 minutes longer than I wanted to. And I just waited a little bit on that last order. I waited, I don't know, like 15 minutes for that 750. It is what it is. I'm going to do this run. I'm going to drop it off. And I'm going to go home. If you're watching, by the time you're watching this, we had already had a live today at 4 Eastern, 3 Central. We go live every Wednesday. It's a motivational hour. We talk about not really gig stuff, but sometimes, but more so about how to motivate ourselves to do the goals that we have in our life and, and to really hit them. I hit my goal today. Did y'all hit your goal today? But go watch the replay. I had a special guest on. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Maybe some of you, if you were there and you've already seen it. If you haven't seen it, go check out that live. Um, you could watch the, the replay and you can look at the live chat, the messages and all that kind of stuff. So go check that out. I appreciate y'all. Hit your goals and understand it's going to be a roller coaster in the gig economy. Good days, bad days, bad orders, good orders. But as long as you're hitting a goal at the end of the day, I think we should uh, we should be able to go home and feel good about that. See you tomorrow. All right, that's the one that put me over. Thanks, Paul. <laughs>